I'm here to talk about the ESB West Wave project. And this is the first wave farm in the world and it's going to be just off the coast here in Doombeg. So as the water moves along, it pushes the flap back and forth. And then because the flap is buoyant, it pops back. We stick a hydraulic ram at the bottom of that and we can take the energy out. So the energy either comes from the wind or the energy comes from this flap moving back and forth. What's that one look like? The sea snake, yeah. So this is only two sections, but the one we will be, we will be doing will have six sections. And then in between each section, there'll be the hydraulic ram. So as this moves up and down, it takes the energy. If you watch that, you can see it moves up and down like that as the wave, wave goes by. I think it'll improve the carbon footprint a lot of the um, area around Doombay and make um, it a lot better for the environment. A lot of like people want to see it and stuff, we'd have a lot more like publicity. tourism kind of, yeah. Publicity. You all have this much more of that. This is what it looked like yesterday. Some of it has been squashed because we used it yesterday. Okay? So it's all that size, right? So what do you think will happen if I put that in the water? See what happens. Oh, like a stone, right? And do you think that will sink or float? All right, we'll see. Okay, I've created a big volume of air inside this. So the weight of that washer displaced is heavier than the weight of the boat, so it pushes it up. The other thing that some boys and girls did was they made it hollow so that it trapped the air inside. So make whatever shape and whatever you want. And then when you're ready, you can come up and sit it in the tank and see if it floats. It's be interesting, I'm not sure. Um.